stop. I do laugh like you. It's fun as shit. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I was sitting there, and we were talking about all these things about smart and this and intelligent. Blah, blah, and they're like, it's irritating. What? He laughs like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> I do. I didn't. I didn't notice it till I looked over and saw this. This sitting by the TV. And I'm like, oh shit! I do laugh like Burrell. <laughs> you don't see these movies. You, 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 smoking the Bandit and and this movie. Yeah, he laughs. He's got. Yeah, he has a laugh. I laugh like Burt Reynolds. I didn't realize it till it's like. Yeah, I'm like. I get that. <laughs> no. Shut up, Reynolds. No, get off. Yeah, my dad. I'm very always sitting my pops, and if you look at that picture, look at the picture of my mom and my dad on my YouTube, and uh, look at this picture of Burt Reynolds. Yeah, my pops looks like Burt Reynolds a lot, and he looks like John Derrick. <laughs> There's a story I tell people. It's really cool. Uh, Reynolds tells it. It's funny. Uh, Clint Eastwood, and Burt Reynolds, and Hollywood young aspiring actors on these lots and stuff, and uh, they both get called in the same day. <laughs> told they're, they're told they look at a. Reynolds and tell him you just can't act, and they look at Eastwood and they tell him you're you're a damned Adam Apple, it's just too damn big. And so they're walking back to their cars in the North Forty together. They kind of knew each other. <laughs> he starts <laughs> starts laughing. He's, What's so funny? You're screwed. And it's like why? I can always get acting lessons. You'll never get rid of that damned Adam Apple. <laughs> it's funny. Well, there's another guy at the same time going through Hollywood and stuff with them that a lot of people were talking about. There's this Ralph Parsons guy. It looks like John Derrick. He's a, uh, he has a, he has a, he's quiet. He's got that star esque quality about him. He's got a deep voice and, and um, calm demeanor, and he's hot as hell. He just wants to be a thumbman. He wants to be the fall guy. <laughs> the fall guy. He wants to be the fall guy. He wants to be Lee Majors' character, who's also a young hot guy going through. Dolly Parton. Are they really as fun as? <laughs> okay. God, they look fun. I. I, Amy got me in the boobs. I was more of a butt man, but just, I'm in trouble again, aren't I? Okay. That looks like fun. Are you serious? You're Burt Reynolds. She's, hi, Dolly. How are you? I, when I saw James Woods on that movie, I wanted to be James Woods on that movie with that movie when you go in there. And he goes, oh, my, you show me your boobs. And he goes, oh, my God, I'm like, lucky guy. Just, it's okay. There's nothing. It's just. I'm not really a, but you got special face song thing, way things, voice, nice. Yeah, well, I would have liked to, have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, okay. That's a little warehouse in Texas. Yeah, you guys made that. He reminded me of that. He's all the movies he's made and all the, shut up, Reynolds. He's, he's a pig. He's not a pig. He's a nice, he's fun. <laughs> he's got a great laugh. He does. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it's, oh, God, yeah. And then all these people about being directed, yeah, and it's funny because Mr. Carey's the same way with it about it, too, when we had him in there. He said, no, we, we wanted, like, you can't have a program for kids that have been abused and stuff like that that's like Cider House Rules because you have to write paperwork and justify everything you do through these anal retentive bureaucrats that hurts the pull strings and control these lives and make these kids' lives hell, make your life hell for trying to make their kids these kids' lives better so they can believe there's a better world out there. And it's just horrible to have to work with them. You, have to just, you can't let the kids go out there and play sock football. If they tackle each other, then you got to mount a bureaucracy paperwork and you got to suspend the guy for a day just because I'm just trying to let them get some time in their boys. <laughs> we were all like that. Yeah, they should build it. They can't play basketball. It's a contact sport. They, no, we let them play basketball. It's a contact sport. They can't touch each other. They can't touch each other? You fucking psychopaths. <laughs> you guys are psychos, man. You lock them up in these things, put them in cells separate them and stuff like that. They can't have contact sports. They can't touch each other. They can do nothing resembling young men because they can't handle being a young man. They're delinquents. Fuck! You people are sick! He's right. You dismantled his program. He tried to operate within the rules and the confines of the sick bureaucracy and insanity and Hitler-like manner in which you guys ran these fucking psychopath thing and tried to have people that would come in and give them just a sense of humanity and be, yeah, Miss Payne is cool or not, and Mr. Sanchez is amazing, and, and Mr. Teus is amazing, and Mr. Yeah, Carrie, within the confines, we knew people were going to be in there. We went to go work there to help work them through that hell. God, you guys are sick. It's not side house rules at all, no. Go to your cell, shut up, don't touch each other, don't talk to each other about anything that makes any, just talk the way we want you to talk. Live in this new created world that we've made for you. Accept the rules. Accept this. Do everything. Shut up. Sit down. Go.
He's too easy. He tolerates them too much. No. <laughs> they know it too. And when that one young man sat there and told me, he goes, Mr. Parsons, if you had been on our unit, we wouldn't have done that. We would have been violated. Me and him wouldn't be going to jail right now. We would have done the same thing the other guy did. Showed you the drugs, said, I'm sorry, I got him. I know I'm going to get in trouble, flush him down the toilet right in front of you. You didn't report it. No harm, no foul. They have the whole place under surveillance. They know what's going on. That's the way Ralph handled it. And it's the same way Mr. Carey would handle it. Thanks for telling me that. I think it's a good idea. Go ahead and flush him. There you go. You're awesome. Good choice, kid. That's all I did. I didn't go sit there and tell me. I didn't have to. I knew I handled it right. I knew how Mr. Carey would handle it. I knew how Mr. Tanson would handle it. And I knew how Mr. Sutchins would handle it. They're all my dogs. Sounds like a good move. All right. I can trust him. I can trust that kid now. And he trusted me. He was showing me, I trust you. And I want you to see that you can trust me. You're our dog, Ralph. We love you. Why do you think all those kids loved me so much? We don't want him on that unit. Look what he did. He didn't tell us. He loves those kids more than he loves us. Mr. Carey just sit there and smile. I know your type. I served in the military if you're type. You're the one that they're like, why don't we just shoot him before we even get in the foxhole? I don't know. You think we should? It sounds like an idea. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah, Clint Eastwood is here. <laughs> yeah, Clint Eastwood's a good director. He's like laughing. You give Parsons direction. It's like fucking trying to direct Williams. I'd never direct that motherfucker. You can't give him any direction. It's more you're just like every which way but loose, and here you go. <laughs> no, he's not being directed. You can't direct this guy. He's more directing you. Yeah, we're going to do this. Well, no, here, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Come on, watch. Why? Because I've analyzed the process the situation. I'm going to show you a more uh, path that might work better for us. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Clint. Let's go. Fuck, you're right, park the car. Okay, damn, Parsons. Stop kicking my ass. I'm going to turn you every which way but loose. Right turn, Clyde. <laughs> it's good, guys. Yeah, you just got bare knuckles. Beat the shit out of him. They're directing him. They're manipulating him. There he is. Yeah, they're helping me. Like, I'm not helping them. <laughs> good God. That's the best analysis I've ever seen in my life. Well, thank you. You helped. I know. It's chicken bacon. We've helped. All right. <laughs> Don't make us mean machine you, alright? <laughs> Here we go. We're having a game against guards. You in? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Do we get a, we get to hit the guards? Okay. <laughs> think I broke his freaking neck. I think he broke his freaking neck. That's fucking neck. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Broke his nose. Yeah, they win. <laughs> and the guards are cool about it afterwards, and the, the warden's pissed and wants him to shoot Creed. He goes and gets the crew, Paul Crew, and he goes and gets the football. Here, game ball. Put this in your trophy case. And the other guy's like, cool, I didn't have to shoot him. Go do it your own damn selfie, pussy. Bye. <laughs> it's a great movie. Mean Machine. The, 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 the remake is good, too. Nelly's awesome in it. He's funny. Makes a good running back. I like Nelly. My wife wants to do you, too. Yeah, she finds you hot, too. Snoop Dogg, too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my ex-wife. You and, yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know about Sandler. Maybe. I don't know. Terry, I, I don't know. You could ask her, Michael Irvin. You could ask. It never hurts to ask. You're famous. You're popular. You're hot. Go for it. <laughs> She's having sex with somebody. <laughs> Go have sex with somebody. Somebody. Someone. I'm going to have sex with somebody. Okay. I was always having sex with somebody. You don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my soul. Baby, come as you are with just your heart. And I'll take you in. I had a huge crush on Marilyn McCoo. Who didn't? Exactly. I agree. Thank you, Michael Irving. All right. <laughs> now, nah, oh, that was another point. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> no, Rob Schneider's like the little pussy who comes off the bench and was too big. No, it's group collective connective things and stuff like that. People have paid important roles time after time, time after time in my life. Thank you, Michael Irving. Yeah, so it's, no, he's, what he's trying to break it out to, and we talked about it, me and, uh, Clint Eastwood and yeah, this crazy guy. <laughs> Knock it off. I, the uniforms are tight. I do love Bobby Bowden was a good hire, and, and, and Burt Reynolds single-handedly helped restore the Florida State football program to, to, to its former glory and glory beyond it it had ever had. And they have the coolest uniforms, and they also have the coolest, uh, yeah, the chants and everything. It's the best place in the world to watch a college football game. Whoa, 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 whoa. knock it off. Whoa, 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 and Chief Osceola comes out at the beginning of the game and throws the spear, burning spear, in the middle of the field. It's wars on. 60 minutes of hell. <laughs> knock it off. It's funny. Yeah, Florida State Seminoles. Seminoles! Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, I'm talking to these people. All right, why? Well, because he's, knock it off. 
because the Nulls are the best book. No, they're not. Knock it off. They do have the coolest uniforms. I think they have the coolest uniforms. We already discussed this between me and Rohan Marley and Deion Sanders. And she, Shut up. No, I'm not going to call you Pops. They admire my dad. My dad was in Hollywood at the same time, and they were talking about this special Parsons guy. He was married, and he left. He had these morals and these values. He wouldn't do casting couch things, and he just wanted to be uh, the fall guy, a stuntman. He didn't want to be a star. He doesn't like being a star. Everybody hates you when you're a star. They put you down, fuck you over, treat you like shit, betray you, talk shit about you, jealous of you. He didn't want to be a star. He just wanted to be somebody that helps support the star. Kind of like me. And they push you down, they kick your... And when you're a star, everybody wants to sleep with you, and you end up sleeping with a lot of people, and you have a lot of sex with a lot of people that are big stars, and you're big stars because you're supposed to. And I get it. I understand. I know. I'm okay. I'm not... I'd love to have socks with Dolly Parton, too. Thank you. Yeah. And Lonnie Anderson. And Lola Falana. And Charo. And Cameron Diaz. Especially with that wig that you wear on Saturday Night Live when you're... Yeah. Reminds me of Jenny. <laughs> I want to have sex with Jenny. I like Jenny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry. I'm, just, it's, uh, I'm not obsessed with her. It's not an obsession. We communicate, and I like her. She's cool to me. She's nice to me. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, I like her. She's nice. I don't like what she does all the time. I think she's a meanie. Yeah, if I'm such a negative ninny, why did you... You had to do what you got to do because they're horrible. I understand, but... I understand. I understand everything, guys. I know how it works. I know how horrible and ugly and psychopath and crazy and mean and evil they are. I understand how everything works. I know y'all did just did you what you had to do to get through it all. Ah, it's cool. There's no hard feelings. No. No, I don't want to kill any of Jennifer Lopez's ex-husbands, boyfriends, or current boyfriends or anything like that. No. no I don't want to kill them right now. Maybe when I meet them. No, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, they should probably run away, far away. It probably it'd be best if we never met at all. Affleck, just just run away, far, far away. No, actually, I could hang out with you. I, I need to shove somebody's head into the bathroom wall when I get a little too. I'm not getting drunk. Well, I'll just say I was drunk when I shove your head through the bathroom wall. It's okay. You'll have, you'll like it. It's fine. It's really exhilarating. <clears throat> you got a hard head. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, pretty boy. I'll fuck you up. I'm just, I'm not going to hurt him. It's, do I, I really, okay, no, he says, I guess I have to hurt you. You made Jenny feel pain, I have to make you feel pain. Yeah, I have to grab you by the testicles, crush them, and then smack your head into the wall. Is that good? Okay, she says, that's fine, that'll be perfect. At least once a month, once a month, that's all. It's not that bad. You'll be fine. It takes about a week to recover. That gives you three weeks out of the year. You will do it. We'll time it just right where it's on your wife's menstrual cycle, and you can suffer the same pain of a menstrual cycle that she does, only with your balls in your face. It's okay. You'll like it. <laughs> this is, I don't come up with this shit. I don't make this stuff up. These people just... I'm connecting to some sheer psychopath, and Clint Eastwood is... He, I'm following direction well. That was good. I'm following direction better as we go. Well, because there's a lot of stuff that just needs to be put in there that, that shows the creativity of people working through Ralph and Ralph working with these people and then working through him and him working through them. And I want to, can I go work through Jenny? Can I just leave you fucking psychopaths alone and go have fun? I want to go play with the kids. You guys sure are psychos. I want to watch cartoons. I will watch, I'll watch the best little whorehouse in Texas and I'll watch it all the way through without talking much. And I'll sing the songs with, if I should stay. <laughs> And I will always love you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't uh, set up. Shh, daddy. Shh. Okay. Knock it off, Reynolds. <laughs> funny. Okay. No, this is cool. It's, I, I'm having a good time. I didn't expect all these old farts to come in the room. All right, you just think they just go away. Just go away. Go, go direct movies. You're no longer hot enough to star in them. <laughs> yeah, you're that old guy who threatens to beat up all the people. <laughs> Feel lucky, kid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, you're that old guy. You're the old guy from the prison now instead of the hot football star. You're the old fart, you know, that punches the, you know, you aren't the one that punches. Which one are you? Oh, you're the old guy that plays the, yeah, the old quarterback that gets hurt. Yeah, okay. 
I'll watch the movie again. I remember the movie. I loved it. It was one of my favorite movies. Long and short. Yeah. And Smokey and the Bandit 1 and 2. Two of the greatest cinemas. There's our massive reviews in the history of the world. <laughs> best actress should have gone to Burt Reynolds and best actress should have gone to uh, Sally Field and that's just the way it is and uh, we're not going to have this discussion anymore. Best supporting actress should have gone to Barry to Jerry Reed and best soundtrack. He's found it down, loaded up in trucking. We going to do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go and a real short time to get there. We are on an eastbound luck on bandit run. <laughs> well, they're thirsty in Atlanta and they're beer in Texarkana. <laughs> Jerry Reed's funny. Have you ever? No, 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 no. When you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> Who's going to pick up my welfare check? <laughs> I judge my buddy as I he let my friends go free and threw the book at me. When you hot, you hot. <laughs> Jerry Reed, he's fun. Pretty Mary Sunlight, she's all right with me. That was on Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, he was on Scooby Doo. Yeah, Jerry Reed did Scooby Doo episode. Yes, he did. Uh huh. Pretty Mary Sunlight, he sang that song on it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, he did. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, ask him. Didn't you? You did. Yeah, he did. He did. He also is. Uh, yeah. Which bandit one or bandit? He's, he's the big yeah, the, the you know the truck with the stagecoach on it, and yeah, and getting the beer in Texarkana to go and take it to Atlanta. And they're gonna do what they say can't be done, and they do it, <laughs> much to the chagrin of Jackie Gleason and Paul Williams. You know Paul Williams. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. We've only just begun to live. White lace and promises, Paul Williams. A kiss for luck, and we're on our way. That old guy who writes really pretty songs, who's real short. <laughs> diminutive, I mean, vertically challenged. I mean, you know, one of the little Jada Pika clones that got no reason to laugh. Drive around little cars and go beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay, sorry. He's very funny, and he's very talented. Beautiful heart. Writes some of the most beautiful songs you ever heard. Huh? Before the breathing air is gone, before the sun is just a bright spot in the nighttime, I yeah, stand alone and take back something worth remembering. Whenever, yeah, it, yeah, well, it, it, he writes cool songs. He helped write the lyrics with the music for Barbara Streisand for Evergreen. <laughs> Very pretty man. You're a gorgeous man. You're one of the most beautiful human beings ever. Underappreciated. Und yes. <laughs> Paul Ayans. Love you too, Paul. Thank you. Hey, it's just an evergreen. Yeah. Love shared him seen by two. Me and you. I'm right there with you, dog. I love you too. We've only just begun. <laughs> yeah, you're funny too. He's very funny. Okay. And so was Jackie Gleason. <laughs> he was. His son. Was it? Yeah. Was it Mike Henry? Yeah, Mike Henry from Yeah, he was Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, his son and yeah, and okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm talking to these people. I I don't remember all this stuff and they start bringing it up. His name was Mike Henry. It's Mike Henry, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Was it Mike Henry? The one who plays his son, who, yeah, who was Tarzan, and did the Mar Tarzan, was he the one with the one with Rayford Johnson? When Rayford Johnson played, okay, knock it off, guys, wow, this is cool. Yeah, I do have a good random access memory file, but, yeah, it's cool. Okay, Rayford Johnson, he plays a, yeah, and Mike Henry, they play a Tarzan episode with the, where they have the whole thing, and they throw this, yeah, I watched that one. I liked watching Tarzan. I preferred Mike Henry over Johnny Weissmiller. Well, it was in color, he was a little hotter. Okay, a lot hotter. Way hotter. Mike Henry kind of reminded me of Clint Walker, who was also hot from El Paso and a lot like my dad with a lot of things. And yeah, and Clint Walker, good, yeah. Call Rogers, yeah, had that, yeah. Clint Walker, you know. What was the show he was in? I forgot. He was cool, though. Clint Walker, yeah. He did the movies, The Grizzlies, and he's badass. And turns on and, boom, Clint Walker, good looking man. Really good looking. Very, he says, extremely good looking man. Clint Walker. Mike Henry, good looking, too. Rayford Johnson, also a good looking man. <laughs> Fine athlete. Dad Kathleen winner. Did, yeah. Did you know that the, the two statues at, at the LA Coliseum for the, yeah, that's the one. That Rayford Johnson was used for the, yeah, during the Olympics at that time in Los Angeles during the Coliseum. Yeah, Rayford Johnson, nice body. I'm a very talented athlete. <laughs> you guys are funny. Well, Jackie Joyner, Chrissy, didn't she also do it? Yeah. Nice body, good athlete. It's okay. <laughs> God. Wow, knock it off, guys. Okay, yeah, I've got a mind that really retains and information and processes it and analyzes it and likes athletics, obviously, Mr. Man, Mr. Lopez. We, yeah, it's cool. We, yeah, we can talk about a lot of stuff. I could, yeah, I got a CPU up here. <laughs> yeah, that was rolling my eyes, showing you up behind my head. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty special. 
Yeah, so try directing me. Now I'm more, you might think you're directing me, I'm directing you. It's like all the people that were analyzing and psychoanalyzing me, and then I psychoanalyzed them, and I psychoanalyzed them better than they psychoanalyzed me, and they were trained to psychoanalyze me, and I just have to connect to them, and I can psychoanalyze better than them. It's cool. They, Clint Eastwood digs it. <laughs> so, does, so does Burt Reynolds. So does Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Oh, for crying out loud. They're directing you. I don't think so. I think I'm running the show. I think I am. Oh, but Frank was trick, Ralph was tricky, I did a dicky, and now they're locked up in the tank. Oh, my Ralphie, oh, my Ralphie had a jail and couldn't lock it. Had one bullet for his pistol, had to keep it in his pocket. I'm out of here, assholes. Barney, I'm Barney. Nice to meet you. I'll be taking over me very soon. I'll be back. <laughs> Blessings and peace. Love you, too.